Hey my people, how you doing? What's been going on? I know I've been gone for a little mini, but I just wanted to get on here. I had like 30 minutes to spare, so I was like, why not talk to my collective? How have y'all been? What's been going on? Right now, the energy is just calling for us to be more calm, for us to be more patient, for us to know our standards and our own boundaries. You know, December is a month of us clearing up things. So if you feel like you're crying a lot, you're being emotional a lot, you're having these mental breakdowns, these emotional breakthroughs, it's basically because God is trying to clear those blockages. Because when we go into this new year, we're going into this new year about us. It's about loving ourselves. It's about trusting ourselves. It's about being there for ourselves. So this new year, hey, CC, how have you been? This new year is literally about us in this present moment how have you been cc what's been going on because i know i haven't been here in a minute but the only reason why i haven't been here is just because i've been doing my own thing i've been having my own mental breakdowns i've been having my times with me just having to deal with myself deal with my soul as you see i'm in a new setup because i went to an airbnb i'm finally out of living with my sister i've been good just working how about you honestly i've been great today has been more of a it's been an emptiness it's been a peaceful spirit and a peaceful soul at this present moment but you've been working i've been working too but i've been more working on like my mind more more working on my connection with god more working on like single and healing like my intention for next year what is my intention for next year what do i want to bring in for next year I haven't really been on here because I haven't been like having the right words to say to my collective. I feel like I'm at the point in my life where I'm like, what do I want to talk about? <laughs> I have so much to talk about, but I just don't know where to start. You know, I've been lagging on my time. You've been lagging on your time? I'm, I, is it really lagging? Are you just, you know, perfect? You right where you need to be for yourself and your soul. You right where you need to be for yourself and your soul. But what you been going through lately? How your life been? And hello to everybody coming in. You can ask me questions. We can talk about it. We can get into it. I just wanted to kind of come on here and just chill. Do some collectives. Just been so focused on getting through the day. They seem like a survival mentality. I just been so focused on getting through the day. Oh my God. Are you okay? Your birthday coming up soon. I haven't really journaled or meditated. I haven't either though. I haven't journaled. I haven't meditated. I haven't been praying. But in a sense of like doing my Bible study as in reading the Bible, I have been doing that because I've been reading Psalms. And today is day 10. It should be, no, day 11 of me reading Psalms. I'm good mentally. I'm good mentally. I'm good mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I feel so peaceful. I don't have no worries. Nothing is on my mind. I haven't really been thinking about nothing. That's really why I haven't been coming on here because I'm just like, what am I supposed to talk about with my collective? But I just feel like, God be like, just talk about what you want. I was going to come on the topic of just single and healing and just being in that phase of your life where you're in solitude, but you're never alone. You know, being in that phase of your life of understanding it's okay to not have people around you and still know that you have people for you that will move for you, that will be there for you, that will do for you. You know, I was on King Soon Live and I was asking for help because I was like, oh my God, I'm in this time period where it's like, I always have to depend on other people to survive, not understanding. God works through people. So if he's sending you people to help you, take the help and allow yourself to know that it's okay. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay that you need somebody else. It's okay that you don't have it all together because God don't want you all together. God wants you right where you at. Battling with yourself. Loving yourself. Getting to understand yourself. Getting to understand your soul. Getting you to understand you. You know? And it's not about being perfect. Because who is perfect in an imperfect world? It's just your definition of what you feel like perfection is. So, I've just been chilling. I've been grooving. And i just been, ugh. <laughs> I, bet, ugh, I am doing ten dollar readings today so if anybody needs a reading i got y'all today but we can do some collectives we can get into it if y'all have any questions you can ask me some questions let's go forward and hello to everybody in the chat how are y'all doing cc not the only one in here y'all can talk how y'all doing how is y'all doing is kevin done with us he might be let me see is kevin done with us i felt like heart not heart i feel like stomach pain after i read that it's kevin done with us it's like when i feel stomach pain to me that's like your confidence being worked on something something of your confidence 
like being more confident in this connection or was he tearing down your confidence in that connection is that a connection that god really wanted you in meditate more about it because i feel like once we get out of relationships it's it's a purpose rejection is for our protection so once we get out of relationships with certain people was that man really for you and was he really built off the standards of how you want to live your life or was he just there to feed some part of your soul of an obsession life is lifting i'm tired <laughs> life is lifing i'm tired why are you so tired you know sometimes i feel like god makes us tired god forces us into so much destruction so we can't sit down and see like what is wrong with our life why is my life breaking down why is my life giving me so much hell sometimes that destruction is to sit us down and slow us down hey girl it's because i've been crying i don't know if you've been keeping up with my um 75 days of heart but baby i've just been crying and crying and going through it going through it but in the best way possible in the best way possible how have you been blue strip how has your dreams been? My dreams, my dreams has been about fighting people from the past. And, you know, I told my friend about it and she was like, what if that's your spirit always telling you that you're going to always fight for what you want? What if that's your warrior spirit showing its side, even spiritually and physically? How about your dreams? How has your dreams been, CC? I have never had a romance dream. I have always wanted to have a romance dream because I be hearing people be dreaming and they be dreaming of their love and they be dreaming about like, oh my God, my lover came in my dreams and gave me roses. I can't wait till I meet my twin friend. I have never got that. I'm either battling, running from something, or I'm just in the midst of seeing somebody get murdered. I be like, damn, that's so violent. I was so upset I had one and I woke up single. <laughs> But I don't know, because I feel like love dreams get you an opportunity to see the love that you can actually meet when you get to that part of your life that you feel like is perfect for you. Even if that's in the present moment, this could be your best way of loving yourself, even though it's going to get better and better. But you never know. It could literally be your subconscious saying, this is what you got waiting for you. So when you're going to get up and start acting like the woman who's in love with that fucking perfect ass man that you've been dreaming about. <laughs> I remember the feeling. I seen his face. I know that's right. I know this fucking right. I was like, yes, he fine. I know this right. I don't know. I feel like those type of dreams. Hey, soon. Those type of dreams get me into the like, oh, okay. I'm finna meet my love. I'm finna meet my love. I'm finna, I'm finna get up there. I used to like, when I was becoming the woman that I needed to be, I used to always envision the masculine energy because I know I'm gonna be dating like a billionaire millionaire. So that's a certain type of lifestyle you have to live. You have to get up, you have to be disciplined, you have to be patient, you have to have hobbies, you have to know how to wait, but you also have to know how to be intentional with your steps because to be a millionaire and billionaire, you have to be intentional with yourself and your soul. So I've always felt like once I envision my partner, I'm going to be working just as hard as he's going to be working. So everything that I'm doing, he's going to do. He's a reflection of me. So every time I thought of my partner, it made me get back up and just grind harder because that's what I'm living for. I'm living for partnership. I'm living for family. I'm living for a legacy with a partner that actually is an embodiment of me. I was trying to go back to sleep. <laughs> I remember my friend saying she had six dreams. Hey, baby, you are radiating. Thank you. I'm probably radiating because my friend's going to come pick me up in 30 minutes. And I was like, I want to get on live. I'm going to get back on live tonight, too, just to do some meditation with y'all and readings. But right now, we just kind of chilling. I dreamt that one of my aces would be headed because you need to let him go. When I think about that, like, be headed, bitch, I got my tablet right here. We're going to lick this up. Baby, is this going to be a dream live? Because we could lick some stuff up. We can look some stuff up. Wait a minute. No, for real. Like, let's keep going. Let's this good times going. Yes. Like, Blue Strip, I always be feeling like your stuff. Hello. Hey, Reva. I said Rayvon. Reva. Hey, Reva. First of all, beheading. Blue Strip, every time I get something of your dreams, we just always got to look it up. Because yours be the extreme. The extreme. The extreme. Oh, it's a reflection of your personal freedom and you need to understand it physiologically. Let me see. Beheading is something of a punishment, but if you behead an ex, does that mean, is that that same ex that's been like stalking you and stuff like that?
Because that could mean that if he's beheaded, that means that spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, you have let him free. So now he's no longer a burden to your life. Mm, let's see. Mm, y'all already know I'm finna look it up. I always like looking shit up. Because every time y'all put something in the comments, I'll be like, let me go back. Because half the time, y'all on this live because y'all are a reflection of me, so... I've been going through the same shit. If you cut someone's head in a dream, you will you will have successfully succeeded against enemies and competitors. If someone cuts your head in the dream, you will be manipulated and exploited. It is possible that a relative of yours will die soon. If you are a dream of an animal being headed for the purpose of eating it, this indicates the necessities of life. Seeing a head that's been cut off from a body means disappointment and failure in business, but it can also foretell diseases. Mm. But that was your boyfriend. You saw an ex. And when I think of like a beheading of an ex of something that you used to know, that's like a complete tie. Not the stock on one. Oh, you mean that his karma coming? Literally. That's what I think. Because it's beheaded. You're literally beheading an ex. And I don't think it's about the karma coming. I feel like it's that cord that y'all had that's finally being cut. That's what I take it as. That cord that y'all had being cut. But how have you been, Blue Strip? How have you been, Raven? I said Raven. Reva, how have you been? What's been going on with you? I ain't seen y'all in a minute. I missed y'all. I swear I did. <laughs> I was going through my little depressive funk, but I needed it. I needed it. Mm -mm. I needed it. And y'all need to give me some topic, like topics to talk about so I can come into the live with some purpose. Because I feel like I just be coming on the live and just be talking to y'all and don't ever have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Cause it's all stored up it's just all stored up but i can say this is a new transition though because we have the new moon coming in sagittarius and then we have is it the new moon in sagittarius yeah in sagittarius like i always tell y'all this is a philosopher sign so that's more research on what you want to do and who you want to be especially with a new moon new moon is about embodying but it's more it, to me a new moon is more about like developing those steps into being the person that you want to be so when the full moon comes you know what you have to release in order to embody what the new moon has given you he will he was tell people i have i was a hoe and stuff lying out his mouth so he needed his karma he do but his karma is not having you <laughs> oh, i've been good honestly i'm proud of it i'm proud of y'all i'm happy Y'all energy is not chaotic. It's very peaceful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me see if I can do some cards. Because my friend is going to pick me up today in like 20 to 30 minutes. So I was like, let me come out here with my collective. Because I ain't seen y'all in a minute. Do y'all want to do some meditation? I feel like we haven't meditated in a minute. Thank you, love, for everything that you keep doing, everything that you will be doing, everything that you will be doing. At this present moment, I allow you to my life mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally as you see fit. Give me the right communication skills, knowledge, and experiences, and metaphors in order to teach my collective. What is it that you need to tell me? How is it that I can empower you to be the truth of my soul and my spirit at this time? At this present moment, I allow my ascendant spiritual team within my life mentally, physically, and spiritually. <laughs> mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally as you see fit. I allow you to empower me, to love me, to give me the gift of sight and understanding for my collective. At this present moment, Lord, what is it that I need to tell my collective? What is it that my collective thinks to me? I thank you for your love, I thank you for your protection, and I thank you for your truth. In Jesus' name, amen. I say, if your stomach start busting, it's the hot Cheetos, girl. Hot Cheetos be busting. It's the black bag. Because if it's the black, it's the, the black and orange bag, them hoes is hot. Hot. But I be eating them in one sitting, knowing God be saying, don't do that shit. <laughs> knowing God be saying, stop eating that. And I be like, who? Because I'm going to eat what I want. The fact that nothing is coming out right now, though, that just shows me y'all are moving too fast. And you need to slow down. Remember, it's delayed, not denied. It's delayed, not denied. And sometimes the delay comes from, can you even handle what you've been asking for? The red bag. 
sometimes it's, it, the delay comes from can you even handle what you've been asking for what's that song say paradise it's the paradise but sometimes you even know the paradise that you've been asking for you know god is always trying to tell us like what do you want it's not that you can't get what you want it's that you're not specific enough on what do you want so when the cards are not coming out that means you need to be more patient with yourself and understanding the intention of how you move are you even moving in the direction of the paradise that you've been asking for the problem isn't that you can't get what you want again it's that you don't know what you want so what do you want and if you want love how are you showing up as the lover that you want to see if you want friends how are you being the friend to yourself that you want around you you know this season is all about you being the reflection of what you want to see god is controlling your outside world you're controlling your inner world so when you control your inner world if you want people to respect you as you respect yourself how do you respect yourself if you're getting one-sided relationship how how are you having one-sided relationships with yourself with god Y'all want God to do so much, but when's the last time y'all talked to him? When's the last time you fit an hour or two hours within your day to actually have a conversation or have that developing relation, relationship of encouragement, of grace, of love, of gratification? It's like a communication that needs to happen between not only just you and God, but you and yourself. Because sometimes it doesn't always have to be God. It's sometimes it has to be that relationship that you're having with yourself. How are you not having a relationship with yourself? But that's what you want so bad. Like, what are you doing in order to stay in that perfect harmony with yourself rather than with somebody else? Oh, okay. Well, I do have to go, but I hope that did help you. I will be back on here later on tonight. I'll see y'all then. I hope to see y'all. I'm probably going to get back on around 9 or 10. And that's when I'm going to be doing full out readings. But I do hope that helped your soul with something for today. I love y'all.